Hi everyone, Martin here from martinsmayhem.co.uk. I hope you're all well. If you're new here, welcome to the mayhem. Um, my name's Martin Stone and I'm an independent sample and demonstrator from the UK. And that basically means I sell the product for you to make these awesome cards. So this card is using the Fence and Bunch stamp set, which is going to be available in the celebration catalog that starts July 5th. If you are one of my customers and you've shopped with me within the last five months, uh, 12 months even, thank you. You will have received the celebration catalogue and the mini catalogue in the post, or you will do it in the next few days. They were posted up during the strikes and I'm hoping they're gonna, they should be there with you already. If not, please reach out to me or if you would like to become one of my customers, please visit the description bar below where you can request one yourself. So anyway, this stamps up. I'm just showing you the watercolor technique on this card. I'm not gonna do a full tutorial, um, just because time. Let's just do like a top tip, basically. So the Thanks Bunch stamp set is kind of this playful kind of design imagery. It's not very realistic, um, which doesn't really fit my style. So I wanted to create it more realistic which is why I went for this watercolour look. And I just love the contrast between the stamp set and the final card. So I'm gonna show you how I've done it. So you're gonna need the image on a clear block. So I've got a clear block D. Oh my God, there's a bit of tissue there. Um, and as you can see, it's dirty. I haven't cleaned it yet, but it's fine because I'm gonna use it again. I'll clean it afterwards. So it's on a clear block D. You're going to need some fluid 100 watercolour paper, which again, all the products in this video are sold by my Sampled Up store, so make sure you check them out and make sure you include the free gift code. So you get an extra free gift, or an extra goodie from me, if that makes sense. I know what I mean, it doesn't make sense in my head. Uh, so I'm grabbing my pumpkin pie ink. Excuse the state of the ink pad. I really need to, I've re-inked it and it's kind of gone all to the side. So I need to have another play. But I'm just gonna ink up my stamp set. Uh, my ink, uh, my stamp like so, as you can see the ink's on there. I'm gonna grab my stamping spritz, which is currently available. And I'm gonna give it two spritz of water when I actually hit it. And that's just gonna activate the ink on the stamp set and kind of ball it up. And that's what's gonna achieve our watercolor effect. So I've got a scrap piece of fluid 100 watercolor paper. So I'm gonna stamp that down, leave it a few seconds and lift up. Now there's still plenty of ink and water on that stamp. So I'm gonna stamp it again. And it's a second generation stamp that I think just looks better than the full one. You're gonna have to let, let, let me know what you think in the comments below, which one do you prefer, the fuller image or the more brainier image? Flip it around. Not that I think that makes any difference. But you can see here, I've used the fuller images in the background and the second generation stamping on the front. And then all you have to do afterwards is with your image, once it's dry, is just quickly firstly cut around them, which you can all spend a lot more time doing. So it's nice and neat. And there you have your carrot, which you can use on your card. So I hope you enjoyed this technique. If you have any questions about stamping up or this technique or anything at all, please leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them. Otherwise, the corresponding supply list is available over on my website, martinsmayhem.co.uk, which you can head over to as it's in the description bar below. And... Yeah, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this top tip and I will see you later. Bye.